So you're, try, you're, you're trying to figure out how do you create content on the thing that, I like. on the thing that you love when you have your job, yes. right? So this is, the, so 85% of people in America feel exactly the same way as you do, <laughs> okay? So they're all coming up with this exact same question. And in your LinkedIn header, what you can do is you can separate into three categories. You are this, you are also this and this, right? Just lead with the main thing that you care about first. Put your splash image on there and say like, you lead with the thing that you're really passionate about. I, I, know, I know career coaches that, that like completely eliminate their day jobs. Like I knew this dude, Austin Belchak. He's got like 40,000 followers on LinkedIn. He doesn't talk about the fact that he works at Microsoft <laughs> at all. <laughs> at all, right? He, his first role on his LinkedIn profile is, uh, I forgot the name of his company, but like it's his company logo. His header is like his Belchak Consulting Company, right? Like, I had no clue the dude worked anywhere. I thought he was, he, but we had a meeting and he was like, yeah, bro, I still get paid, you know, in my day job, but like I'm just hustling this business over here. I'm like, that's great. So that's, a, that's the model, right? Like your LinkedIn profile is your profile, right? It is not owned by anyone but you. And there's a misconception out there by a lot of people that like, just because I work for Amazon, I gotta have the Amazon splashy thing with the Amazon, you know, all the crap on there. And no, not at all, right? And if your company doesn't believe in that, then you gotta work for another company.